Okay, hello everybody, this is Don Nelson at underground.com and I'm very happy to say I'm here with the other four. I will straight into it, we've got new EP Vintage, which is out this Friday, I believe. Yes, I, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Yes. It's more amnesia, yeah. yes, yeah. this Friday. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. some general time. Yeah, I don't even know what day it is right now, <laughs> and or time. <laughs> Cool. Uh, the first thing I noticed about it was the artwork, which is stunning, really. Mm. It's absolutely gorgeous. And it kind of follows on from a prelude to sorrow. That's prelude to sorrow, how you pronounce it. Yeah, it's the same artist. It's yeah. Christian yeah. Wallen. From, from the beginning, we've used him. I don't think we plan on using anyone else yeah. either. Yeah. We, uh, we actually were just hanging out with him in, in Malmo at the beginning of this tour. And it was, uh, it was pretty cool to see him next to all of his work, you know? Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, exclusively, he's. The art that he does pretty much follows Witherfall. And okay. Uh, for me personally, I think it's a perfect match. Mm. So. Yeah, it does seem to be. I mean, it's, a, it's maybe a strange description, but Witherfall is quite an elegant band when it comes on the metal side. Oh, thank you. Cool. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> I like getting emotional. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, sorry, it does seem to go very well with Witherfall, and it's almost um, mm. it's like almost having your own Derek Riggs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, yeah, I think that's that's exactly what it's like, you know. It's, it, it, again, like I was saying before, it's I always like that kind of bands have themes that you know mm. that you can kind of move along with. And Christian's artwork is has been with us for a while, and it's it's definitely part of the whole visual of the Witherfall. Hmm. Um, obviously, uh, but it was about a year ago now you released the Prayer to Sorrow. Um, around about I know vintage comes from that album as well. There's quite a few uh, goodies, if you like, on Vintage as well. You've got the Halloween and uh, Tom Petty covers, right. for example. Uh, why do you feel those two songs work together on the same collection of material? I don't think we've thought about it at all. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. His two good songs. We, I mean, mean, we usually stay up writing until about 7 a.m. and at the end of the night we just kind of, you know, listen to music, watching some stuff. And, he started messing around with uh, I Won't Back Down, and we were just playing like the, the major chords, and then he's like, what if we did a minor? What if it got really dark? and Make everything sad. Yeah, so <laughs> we just decided to do a cover version of it when we did Prelude, and it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't used on any of the European releases. Um, so our label head uh, was like, why don't you guys, uh, why don't you guys do an EP in between the two records? <laughs> Yeah. And especially since we're out here doing the uh, acoustic tour with mm -hmm. Sonata, it was like a perfect fit, you know? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, and uh, but yeah, originally those were supposed to be just bonus tracks for a prelude. Okay. Um, for, you know, like Japanese releases, which it is on the Japanese version of a prelude that has both songs. So, yeah, there was really. I wish I had a cooler answer. It's <laughs> Halloween was almost a dare. Like, our drum was like dare us to do it. It's like, you want to be brave and cover a Halloween song? Hopefully you don't get shit thrown at you. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't you in the States, I don't know if you played it in Germany yet. Uh, uh, no, we, we've done it once on this tour, I think. Right. Yeah, we just run over time. Yeah. And we had to cut one. It's like, eh, it's the only one that kind of doesn't really fit with the vibe of what's going on mm. on the tour. Can't piss off the headliners, so they're like, yeah. <laughs> well. It's, it's technically possible, but you should. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Um, what I didn't realize was that, or I've read anyway, you've made, you actually made your live debut at 70,000 Sons of Metal last That's year. That's correct, yeah. Well, I was there, but I didn't get to see you. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. We, we, were, we were playing very late or very early, depending on yeah. how you look at it. Well, <laughs> there were earlier and later bands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know you did, um, you did the lounge. For one set, I think the yeah. first show was in. The first show was filmed show. inside like the oh, no. auditorium. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like the auditorium, mm -hmm. which was cool. That was cool. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, and yeah, we played the a more dirty kind of rock show in the uh, the Egyptian theme yeah. club, whatever it is. So. And the Alhambra, that thing, the whole thing with Adam's ashes was such a, a shock. It was it was a real surprise. Like his brothers just happened to be going this year or that year to. Uh, the festival, and they're like, "What if I was gonna be on the boat? Oh my God! Like this is gonna be great." They didn't say a word. So we, we get through customs. We're on the boat, and they're really wasted. It's like 
Um, we caught up with them around like 1 a.m. the first day, and everyone's already pre-gaming, drinking. Yeah. And was it uh, Nate? He's like, hey, I gotta show you something. I'm like, okay. He's got a fanny pack. I'm, I'm thinking he's gonna pull out like a vial of coke or something, you know? That's what I was thinking. Right? So <laughs> I'm like, it's like a little like weed thing, like, you know, just a little capsulated package. And I'm like, what is that? He's like, it's Adam. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> and he's like, can we? And I'm like, all right, fuck it. Like, so we brought them up on stage and they spread Adam's ashes at our first show on 70,000 tons of metal. And it, it all worked out so perfectly because we had a film crew there to, to uh, film because we were going to have this live uh, show put on Masa Ito's TV show in Japan. It's okay. so, like we worked it all out and then they just caught him paying tribute to Adam like, at our first show. And, it, and he always wanted to be in a band that played on that cruise. Yeah, so was, like they're like, okay, he's, he's here on stage. Like, like chapter over. I, I, didn't, I didn't even, like immediately when they, when they said that, I was like, yes, let's do it. I, and then he was thinking like, shit, this actually, this could be illegal. And then he heard it. <laughs> I looked but, up the international yeah, laws for disposal was, of a body. <laughs> it was actually really, it's hard. Like that's, that was a, I've never felt a moment like that mm -hmm. before because it's, it's kind of, I don't know, it's weird. It's like the, it, it almost seemed like we were, Closing a chapter in a way, and then also just seeing ashes. And there's like Adam right there on stage, and it was like some people on. I don't know if it was a C6. There's a photo. People were getting yeah. green <laughs> in the audience. It was really. There's a good, guy good sex doll. By far, by far <laughs> the most death metal. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's that <death> group. <laughs> yeah, there was a guy with a sex doll on his back, and there's a photo, and he's just like. Like, I'm like, that dude's freaked out, so we did our job. <laughs> it was like, and then I, it was during the last song, and uh, this streamer was trying to, like, don't, you know, like, give Adam his space, and Anthony Crawford comes up and steps right in his ass, and it's fucked up. Uh, oh, God. Yeah. Well, it's no other fault. Yeah. Right. <laughs> On that note. Um, Obviously, Wilbur Hall's got connections to other bands, Ice Earth, Sanctuary, uh, White Wizard. Um, but it is a different creation altogether, really. It's, yeah. yeah. Um, but how, how does Wilbur Hall kind of build on that background? I don't, know. Um, I don't think we do. Yeah, I mean, like, it, it would be subconsciously just yeah. because, you know, we work with Ice Earth and Sanctuary, and it's like, uh, so of course, like if you're writing, like maybe because you've been playing it so long, some of that just might seep in. But it's never like um, it's not an influence on us, Nothing. you know. Um, we're more influenced by. I mean, of course, we have some of those uh, progressive metal bands like Dream Theater and um, Never Nevermore and uh, you know Sabotage and and those type of bands. But also, we, we listen to like a lot of Queen. Queen is like our biggest influence, mm -hmm. just because. Mm -hmm. And now everyone thinks, now everyone loves Queen because of that movie. Well, I don't think they know. I don't think know what Queen is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, like the... Have you seen the movie? Queen 2. Uh, no. Yeah, I have seen I it. I saw it. I, saw, I don't want yeah. to see it. I was really drunk alone <laughs> on Thanksgiving and I went and saw it. So I've seen it twice. It's kind of a pathetic story, but... Uh, I will, anyways, the real Queen is Queen 2 exactly. and not at the opera. Yeah. Um, so, and other, like, bands like Zeppelin and, you know... Guns and Roses. I think the point is, is that we like bands where you can't just go, oh, I just heard a Led Zeppelin song and now I know everything I need to know about Led Zeppelin. Yeah. Like you, you, would, you could throw 10 different songs and you would think they were different bands if you weren't initiated with their catalog. Absolutely. And like we really appreciate bands like that that don't have like a template that they follow, mm -hmm. you know. Like yeah. we just write songs, like that's it. Like we don't try and make an album that sounds like cohesive. We don't give a shit about that. I mean, it doesn't matter to us. We just want to write music. It's gotta have, it's just gotta be interesting to us too. Mm -hmm. Because you can't, um, I don't want to use the word sell, but you can't like, 
it, it does if it's not natural, it's you better to be sincere. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's so many bands, you know, that go out there and they're like, oh, well, this, we got to do a Metallica did, make the Black album, like, and, you know, and try to get it in the masses, and it just sounds terrible because it's, they're not doing it from the heart, you know, mm -hmm. there's no soul to it, and listeners can hear that. So Absolutely. that's the main thing, you know, who knows what our next record might sound like if it could be all acoustic, you know, <laughs> it's like, it's whatever we feel the time and whatever yeah. um, is honest to us, you know, that's the main mm -hmm. thing. Cool. Um, so with the um, EP now and the second album, it's been up for a while. Uh, how long do you think it will be before you return to the studio to work on the third record? Um, we're doing this tour. We've got some prior commitments with our with other bands, I, uh, and then we're, uh, we're 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 looking right now some more tours for the fall. Okay. So, uh, but I imagine after that that we'll be in the studio. We've already been writing. You know, we write yeah. all the time, so it's. Uh, via something really dark coming. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's, we already have the ideas for the record and it's just a matter of getting in there. And yeah. I mean, there does seem to be so much momentum with Whippleful at the moment, you know, because it wasn't too long after the debut. Oh, the right. The so. came out and now the EP as well. Which, yeah. Which sure. I know is kind of a stopgap, <laughs> even so. It, it keeps the name of the band out there. It's, it just seems to be a train that keeps going. Yeah, exactly. We would like seeing it as RG in our lives, but very dark and sad. <laughs> it's like, um, it, I don't even remember recording those sessions, because literally we, I think we, we played, we, we recorded it, and then we flew over to Japan, and then literally right off the plane, we went the back to go for yeah. it. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. And crazy now, you know. And so it's like, those are all a blur, you know? Um, yeah, so it's been, it's been busy, but hey, it's been good, so you gotta do. Sweet. Um, normally summer is festival season, are you coming back over to Europe this summer? This summer, uh, not this, well, we are with other bands. Well, no, we're doing Keep It True. Oh, we're doing Keep It True, yeah. Yeah, Keep It True Festival yeah. in Germany. Cool. I believe Camel Mass will be there, so that'll be fun. And yeah, it's rare that there's like bands where like, whoa, okay, that'd be cool to like actually see, you know. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we have work with other bands that we're doing, so, uh, mm -hmm. but next year for sure we'll be doing some, you know. Because the festivals are always such a fun time. Yeah. You're, you're up most of the festivals, right? Yeah. And there's so many of them there, and you can't get out of the actual festival. It's ridiculous. Yeah. So. Cool. Um, well, thank you very much for right. the time you, screen. I look forward to seeing you next time at your festival, and I look forward to seeing you tonight. So, cool. All right. All the best. All right. Thanks a lot, man.